Hey, what's going on guys? So I decided to do a real full day with the TCL stylus 5G and I started the day out at 10.32 at 100%. So the first thing I started to do was play music and what I like about phones is that I, I'm always playing music when I'm using these things. So I, it was no exception with the TCL stylus 5G. I started playing some music, then I started to browse my social media in the morning to get my day started. Got read a few um, inspirational quotes from the Bible. Then, um, you know, I put my favorite case on here, took a shower, brushed my teeth, everything of that nature. Picked out the earbuds that I was going to use for the day. I usually carry two, so I decided to use these guys, the Ace Fast T6 and the Sound Pete's Air 3 Deluxe, which are really good and budget friendly. Then I, you know, picked out my travel bag, my wallet, my keys, my Tin Wu smartwatch, which is still my favorite smartwatch. It has wireless charging with it and it just has a really beautiful face on it, which I really just stands out. I actually bought one from my father so he could use that one too. But I did throw the case on my TCL Stylus 5G because I knew I was going to be out and about. Didn't want to scratch up the phone or anything of that nature. So I just packed my bag and got the day started just like that. So I was decided I was going to start out using the T6 from Ace Fast earbuds. And so the first thing I did was pick a pair of sneakers to wear. So I just picked up any random pair of sneakers, got dressed, and decided that I was going to start the day off with a little bit of a workout. So after I got my sneakers picked out, I took a walk to the gym. Once I got to the gym, I actually um, started to do... Um, today was actually chest day or whatever. So I did a little bit of legs as well and um, was actually... Um, scrolling through social media at this point and the phone was still um, pretty good in battery. It was about 93% at this point. Um, so I got some uh, a leg workout on and as well, I started to browse social media, catch up on some of the stories of um, some of my friends, family, things of that sort. And, you know, the, the phone did have the stylus pen. So one of the things I remembered was to add some things to my grocery list. So I took out the stylus pen and I, I remembered that I needed more peanut butter, almond milk. And, um, you know, what I'm saying I, um, I needed some more bananas so that I could make some protein shakes. So I decided I would make a grocery list and um with the pen so that's something that i really do like about the tcl stylus 5g is that you could just take notes with the pen and it's built right in to the phone i also decided i um, i was running low on toilet paper so i you know decided i would pick these four things up in the course of the day um i was it was about an hour in at this point and the phone still had some pretty decent battery to it with that 93 Two per ninety three percent at this moment. So, an hour later, after listening to music for an hour, it, it only dropped seven percent. So I started to go on social media, follow some of the workout regimens that I usually check out for chest workouts, and I was listening to some of my favorite music on here, um, Kona Noriega, Wu Tang, things of that nature. And then I took a you know what I'm saying um, a moment to get breakfast started. So I started to put on some more music. I put the display at like 30% because indoors you can see it really well. Um, I did some of the, some dishes. I got some coffee going as well so I could get the day started with that and also some breakfast. So I decided to make some pancakes with some eggs and some turkey bacon or whatever. So, you know, the coffee does get me up, wakes me up, just gets me the day started right. So I, I um, got my um, the pancakes ready, got the um, batter and everything like that. So this is what it would look like on the TCL Stylus 5G when you're recording on it. I just wanted to show you guys how it looks when you're recording with TCL Stylus 5G. And I think it did a really good job of capturing some of this stuff right here. But then I sat down at the dining table or whatever, got the coffee and breakfast Um you know, digested it or whatever, so I could have a little bit of energy for 
the remainder for the beginning of the day because I like to have a little bit of energy to get the day started, right? Um, realized that I had a little bit of vegetable oil left. So what I did was I made note of that in my earlier grocery list. So I did add vegetable oil because um, I, I like cooking with that so that it, you know, and that's something that I need when I'm doing some cooking. And then I... Um, started listening to some more music the whole I was listening to music the entire time right and at this point I was at you know 91 percent or whatever so you know um the phone battery did last pretty good starting out it did seem promising that it would last throughout the whole day um then I, I made my way to the park and that's when I took a bike ride um, after um, I worked out and ate breakfast. I, I went to the park so I could capture some of the shots on the camera, the 50 megapixel camera. And I was really surprised with some of the shots that I was getting. Uh, definitely a good workout. It did have some really good shots with the macro camera as well as the portrait mode and the 50 megapixel high uh, res camera which was pretty cool so i was able to get all of these shots while moving on a bike because it was a really good leg exercise in the in the afternoon before i started work so one of the things i like about this device is that it has this really nice uh, touch to it and it doesn't get glossy or whatever side mounted fingerprint sensor volume rocker right above that and all you have to do is tap the fingerprint sensor and it's extremely quick that stylus pen is built right in and it has this nice clicky um, feel to it so you can pop it out. It's spring loaded and it also does have like a magnetic pull when you put the stylus back in. But if you're still here, just comment down below and say, I'm still here so I know you're still rocking with me and kicking it with me, right? So I know you're still um, watching the video, okay? Leave a comment down below. But I was still at the park and, um, you know, the screen did look plenty bright outdoors, so I didn't have any issues with that, but I did have to put it at 100% now. Yo, what's going on guys? So this is the front facing camera on the TCL Stylus 5G. So let me know how the front facing camera looks right now while it's recording. This is how the audio sound is looking or sounding and let me know how it's sounding and looking when it's coming to the front facing camera, okay? But you know what I'm saying? This is outdoors right now and it's really beautiful day. Looks like it's about the thunderstorm. I'm gonna flip the camera around so you can see what I'm talking about. But let's just show you guys what it looks like on the rear facing camera. And this is the front facing camera with the um, eight megapixel in front, 50 megapixel on the rear. So we're gonna flip it to the 50 megapixel right now. Hey, what's going on guys? So this is the 50 megapixel camera on the rear. Um, it's about, uh, right now it's 210 and I've been using the device since 1030 this morning. So we have about 76% right now. Um, I'm gonna take the phone near the water so you can see what it looks like when you get some really good shots uh, outdoors. And we're gonna take some pictures and some more video samples, but let me know how the 50 megapixel video camera is looking right now when it comes to the rear facing camera on the TCL Stylus 5G. So um, I'm gonna start walking with it so you could actually see what it looks like. So this is what it would look like if I was walking with it. And you can see right here, the clouds building up. So it looks like there's gonna be a thunderstorm. We actually get four times zoom. So I'm just zooming in on that flat. All right guys, so this is wide angle video. So I just kind of wanna show you guys what it looks like when you're recording wide angle. You don't get zoom when you're recording wide angle video, but let me just show you what this, the, the sky looks like over there. It looks pretty crazy. Um, so this is what it would look like when I start walking or whatever. And you can see how it looks with the wide angle. So it does look like the stabilization is on. It does look really clear. I hear thunder in the background or whatever. And um, yeah, that's pretty much the wide angle camera. Hey, what's going on guys? So this is the front facing camera. I'm just holding it on a tripod and I'm walking so you can see the quality of the video and stuff like that. So you can kind of see how it looks like when I'm outdoors and um, you know what I'm saying, some good decent sunlight. And right now I just hit the shade. I'm underneath a tree or whatever. So it's gonna look a lot more dim compared to if I was walking in direct sunlight, but it's a really sunny day. I'm gonna turn around so you can see how it would look against the uh, 
sun or whatever so it looks a little bit brighter when I'm walking this way so let me know how you guys think about the microphones and also let me know how the stabilization is doing as well as the front facing camera footage but let me know what you guys think about the cameras I did a wide angle video which was like really nice looking it, it does look really beautiful on this camera when you're doing wide angle because you're going to be able to capture 120 degrees radius just looking out so it captured that airplane that was flying by in the sky which looked really it was a cloudy day so it was thundering um i i actually wasn't able to catch the lightning though through the cloud that actually appeared because it's hurricane season down here in florida or whatever but you can see how stable the video quality is on this camera very impressive for a sub 100 uh, sub 300 device so the the video stabilization was really good on this device that was one of the things i was extremely impressed with when i was using the camera on here so i decided i would test out the autofocus and i was even more impressed with that because it does focus right in on any subject that you throw at it so i didn't run into any issues when it came to focusing in on inanimate inanimate objects or whatever so the the tree um bark it it, it just zooms it, it not zooms but it does focus right in here you can see it does take a second or two to focus in but when you go and focus in on something else you can see how the camera is mapped it's really good technology right here you can see that it does pan um, th th it does have that nice um, feature so I, I took the bike ride back home and I, it was a really good day of exercise because the sun was really hot and also it was I was getting a good workout on so I got a nice sweat in when I was working um, when I was riding the bike so not too far from home but I was able to get some really good um, picture samples and I'm going to show you that in just a second but then I started to actually mess around with the phone for a little bit more, browse social media, catching up on some emails and things like that. But this is some of the samples that you will get with the TCL Stylus 5G when you're taking photos. And you can see right here that they're gonna come out really good, whether it's the 50 megapixel wide angle macro portrait or anything of that nature. So I was extremely impressed with the quality that I was getting. So I still was browsing social media and I, this is more than I would actually use a phone on a regular basis because I was taking a ton of video just for this battery drain test real, you know, a full day with the oh geez, with the TCL Stylus 5G. So, you know, um, I decided I would play a little bit of PUBG before I went to work. So I got, you know, one game of PUBG in and, um, you know, it was definitely extremely smooth with the D Dimensity 700 on here, 4 gigabytes of RAM, 128 for the internal storage. And you could also expand that up to one, uh, you know, I'm saying gigabyte or whatever. So that was really interesting. Um, you know, gaming on here was really smooth. So when I got to my job or whatever, pulled up, I was at, you know, 50%, you know, um, at at almost five o'clock so it was roughly like halfway through the day because i started at 10 30 a.m with this test and then i started to walk back from my lunch break right here at this point and the phone i didn't really use the, the phone much at all when i was at work so i just want to throw that out there that you the standby time only dropped five percent after you know what i'm saying three hours more of use but like I said, for three hours, I wasn't really using the phone. So you could see like it kind of um, evened out or whatever. Then around 10 o'clock, when I got back in the car and, and decided to end the day at work, you could see right here, I did play some music on here with the auxiliary cable. And I like the fact that this device has a headphone jack because you can use the headphone jack. So it, I ended the day with 40%. Um, on using this thing um, and it was about 10 30 at this point 10 a.m. to 10 30 p.m. so I got a full day of use and even more so I was really impressed with this device but let me know what you guys think about the TCL Stylus 5G in the comment section I'm gonna get right back with you I'm gonna show up in the comment section and hit you guys up there but I uh, definitely appreciate you for watching the end of the video if you're still here just comment down below say I'm still here but in the meantime make sure you watch another video and 
have a great morning afternoon evening and depending on where you are have a great night later crew peace